For the past six years, Dustin Reynolds has been on a mission to become the first double amputee to circumnavigate the world on his own. I was hit by a drunk driver. After he hit me, he drove about another 600 meters off into a ditch. He was incredibly drunk. He blew a .28. He lost an arm and a leg in the crash in 2008. It took Reynolds three years to recover. I started trying to decide what to do next with my life. Randomly, I was on the internet and I found a list of people who had set records sailing around the world alone. I was like, well, there's no double amputee on that list. I guess I'll just do that. And he is doing that. He taught himself how to sail from reading and watching videos on the internet. As if sailing wasn't hard enough on its own, he mastered it through trial and error as a double amputee. I mean, there's so many things that are really easy with two hands, like a zip tie. You know, with two hands, you do it instantly. Where me, I'm like maybe taping it. He started his journey from his home in Hawaii in 2014 and has sailed through the South Pacific, Southeast Asia and Africa. I think it's a really meditative thing spending that much time by yourself because there's no internet, you know, you don't have TV. In each new place he stops, he tries learning more about the culture there as well as sharing his own story. I think I am a bit lucky in this way because I do look differently than most people, missing an arm and a leg. And a lot of the islands that I visit you know, they don't have medical supplies, and if someone had an injury this catastrophic, they wouldn't survive it. So they've never even seen an amputee in person, let alone somebody sailing by themselves. And uh, so they're incredibly curious. The coronavirus pandemic shut down many of the places left on his list, but his goal is to sail around New England for the rest of the summer, then hit the Caribbean, Panama, the Galapagos, and French Polynesia before finally getting back to Hawaii and completing his circumnavigation in November of 2021. I've definitely learned patience out of this. Reynolds actually went bankrupt trying to pay all his medical bills after the crash in 2008. So this entire adventure is funded through crowdsourcing. To find out more about where he's been and where he's going, head to our website, abc6.com. In Bristol, Ellie Romano, ABC6 News.